This is a review of set 4950 Loader Dozer from the Rock Raiders line. It was released in the year 1999 and retailed for $20. According to the box, it only contains 89 pieces, giving it a pretty bad price per part ratio. This is also one of the few Rock Raider sets where I have the box. It's not in the best condition, but it's also not terrible either, just a little bit of wear on the corners and sides. So here we have the cover art, and strangely enough, it actually shows an alternate build in the corner here on the cover. Then on the top and side, we see our rock monster. Just see a bunch of floating pieces on the side. That's pretty cool. An action shot there. And then on the back, of course, as LEGO always did back in the day, we've got some pretty neat alternate builds. I like how they went for two watercraft in this. Uh, seeing as how the Rapid Rider is the only official watercraft set. Um, and I believe I was able to build this one, considering it's got so few pieces, it's actually not impossible to do. Whereas a lot of these uh, alternate builds, it's pretty hard to see what's actually going on from just one picture. So here are our instructions. Nothing too special here. It does show two of the same alternate builds on the back that we saw on the box. So before we started building, I just wanted to point out why this set has such a high price to part ratio. And it's because Rock Raider sets had such large pieces like this uh, cockpit piece, this roll cage canopy piece, and then the biggest piece is definitely this base for the wheels. And it's got four large wheels here in addition to this large uh, loader part. And then of course the Rock Monster big fig. So I mean, those are just some really, really big pieces that they build within this theme. So here we have the completed set, and first we'll take a look at our minifigure. Again, we have Axel, and there's nothing special about him in this set. It's the same one that we saw in the Granite Grinder, and it's the same one we're going to see again in the Chrome Crusher. Uh, like I said, he is the most common figure in this line, but still a good one, and I would say up there with my favorites. And then we have the actual loader dozer, and even though it's got some really big pieces and a pretty terrible price to part ratio, I would actually probably say it is my favorite Rock Raider set. There's just something so nice about how uh, beefy, for lack of a better word, this set looks um, in such a small form factor. It definitely looks like it's ready to take on something like this huge rock monster. Um, I like the compactness of these wheels so close together and how wide they are. So it definitely looks like it's not going to be tipped over or flipped backwards. Um, and then you've got obviously this really cool loader part up here. And it's got a neat mechanism here in the back where you've got a stopper right here. And as soon as you lift that up, you can just push this forward and that lowers the arm. And again, we see these lamps that are clipped onto the side here. Uh, same build we've seen multiple times throughout this series. And of course, he's got his tools in the back, his two wrenches. And then on top, he's got a stick of dynamite. And I just love this uh, printed dynamite piece. Inside the cockpit here, we've got a small seat where you can sit the driver. And again, we see that printed cave slope that we've seen in a lot of other sets in the line. But it still looks nice for a control panel. And then we also have a couple pieces that are uncommon in these colors, for sure. They might even be exclusive. I don't think the chain is, but this rod might be in this turquoise color. It's a cool piece to get in that color. And then a regular brown chain. I also really like the earthy color of that. And then again, we've got one of these boulders with a crystal inside. And lastly, one of the reasons why this is my favorite Rock Raider set is because we've got this rock monster figure, and this is the smallest set to come with this figure, and one of only two sets to come with this figure, the other one being the Rock Raiders HQ, which is the biggest set in the line. So if you're going for this figure, this is definitely the cheapest way to get it. And I believe this is the first big fig minifigure, and it's 
definitely one of my favorite Lego pieces of all time. I remember as a kid just looking at Rock Raiders and seeing these rock monsters, and I was like, man, what I would do to just have one of those guys. And so a couple years back, I actually went on BrickLink and bought a bunch of them. So here's my army of rock monsters. I even sold one of them, and then of course I've got another one in, a, in the HQ. So I had eight total at one point. And just to drive home how much I really love these Rock Raider specialty pieces, especially the Rock Monsters and Boulders, uh, headphone users be warned. I don't even know how many boulders this is, but as you can see, every single one of them has a crystal inside of them. I would guess it's somewhere between 40 and 50. Um, I even got these trans neon orange ones, which are actually from Life on Mars, but I put red crystals in them because in the video game, red crystals are five times as powerful as green crystals. So I thought that was a cool little addition. But if the Rock Raiders need more power, I've always got more crystals. And now I'm going to have to clean all this up, but that was definitely worth it. I love all these Rock Raiders pieces. I also have all the canopy pieces, like these roll cages. Uh, I just don't want to pour them out right now, but anyways, got a little sidetrack there. Let's get back to the review. So adjusted for inflation, the set would have retailed for $31.21, and current use prices have it only at $27.82. I could not recommend this set enough. If you're just interested in the unique pieces that Rock Raiders has to offer, I would say this is the best set for that. If you also want the characters, then maybe get the Rock Raiders crew as well. Either way, I think both of those sets together is the perfect duo of a Rock Raider sample. And for what this one goes for, you can't go wrong with a Rock Monster. Anyways, those are my thoughts. Thanks for watching.